I give you my Biddleby Advanced Techniques. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Podio. Last week I gave you some of my favorite advanced techniques inside of Biddleby, the IRC slash chatroom client. Now you can also use this for a whole bunch of other cool techniques that I'm going to talk about now, including encryption and, well, a couple of different things, especially if you wanted to, for example, delete your account. I'll also go into that. Now first off, let's go ahead and start with encryption. You can add encryption to a specified user with this thing called OTR Connect NIC, which is typed out looks like this. OTR connect and then their nickname. So if I wanted to talk to uh, Ayaz Akhtar, I would just type in Ayaz Akhtar. And you can press tab to actually autofill in his whole name. Now this means off the record encryption. And encryption can also be de-established or re-established with OTR disconnect or OTR reconnect. And that's also very easy, OTR disconnect or reconnect, which looks just like that. Now this can be really handy, especially in a day and age like now, because not all of your IRC and all of your different chats are going to be encryption auto encrypted automatically. Now if you want to use it, you can. You can type in OTR, SMP, and then a person's nickname and a secret for them to answer. This is going to authenticate a user's active fingerprint with SMP. Now, SMP stands for Socialist Millionaire's Protocol. Yeah, it's kind of weird. And you can also create a private OTR key with OTR key gen and then whatever your account number might be. Now, all of it sounds really confusing, but once you actually get into it, it's actually pretty easy. And of course, always remember to save with save which is very simple. Now, if a chat module ever wants you to say yes or no to any kind of question, it's very easy as well. You just have to type in yes and then the account number for me for a Gmail at zero, or you can type in no zero. And this is going to answer the very first known question in the entire root list. So if you have a whole bunch of questions lined up and you're trying to answer the very last one, keep that in mind. So if I want to see what questions have not been answered yet, I can go to queue list. And it's going to give me the account number, zero, gtalk, and then the user, this person wants me to add him or her to his buddy list. So for this example, I'm going to type, uh, who is that? I don't know who they are, but I'm going to say yes, zero. And then you can use yes or no commands to accept or reject this request, accepted your authorization request. And of course, keep in mind, if there's several questions, it's only going to answer the first one. So you'll have to do it again and again and again. Now, let's say that you're a little bit tired of Biddleby and you're ready to delete your entire account. This is going to delete everything. So use it, you know, just know that it, for future acknowledgement. This is very easy as well. You just type in drop. Uh, and then your password. So for my example, um, what is my password right now? I'm going to say it's game. And I would hit enter, it'll ask me to delete, and it'll delete my entire account. Of course, I don't really want to do that right now. Now, I want to list all of my different buddies that I'm using in Biddleby for a specific uh, client, or a specific, uh, specifically I want to see if they're online or offline at this time. For this example, I can use a command called blist, and this is going to list all my different buddies. blist, and I'll use online. And this is going to give me a listing of every single person that is currently online. Now another really handy, handy thing you can do in Biddleby is transferring files, although currently there's only two commands that are available. Basically, you can only do anything with files that are being transferred to you. You can either transfer cancel with the account number, which will cancel a transfer, and it looks like this. Transfer, cancel, and for gtalk for myself, it'd be zero. And it's going to say no pending transfers because I'm currently not transferring any files. Or another thing you can do is reject a file completely by typing in transfer reject. And this will reject any incoming file transfers whatsoever. And that l just looks like Transfer, reject. And of course it says no pending transfers again. 
You can also create a channel to separate all of your different IDs because hopefully by this time using Biddleby, you're using it for a whole bunch of different clients. Now you can do this very simply by typing in slash join and then whatever the channel is, whether that's MSN, Gtalk, or what have you. So if I wanted to join the MSN one, if I had MSN on here, I'd type in slash join ampersand MSN and it would create an MSN channel. And this is going to give me just a single channel for everything going on in MSN, which is nice because it's going to separate out all the craziness that's going on in root if you haven't ignored that yet. Now, this is going to automatically include all of your MSN contacts as well into that new channel, so keep that in mind. Now, let's have some fun with away statuses. Now, these are kind of interesting. The way that they work is you can type in slash away and then busy, BRB, phone, lunch, whatever, invisible, hidden. And this is going to show any kind of extra info to all your clients, or it'll choose the most notable um, client information. So for example, for MSN, uh, if you've used it in the past, you know that if you type in away food or away, uh, that has to do with any kind of lunch, it'll say out to lunch, no matter what. So if I typed in, let me go back to root, slash away, and I'm going to say I'm just busy. This is going to set my away status to busy. And of course, if I had MSN going right now, it would also put me to busy, or if I said lunch, it, it would put me as out to lunch. If you want to start a group chat with several different people, and they all have to be set from the sub same client, so all from MSN or all from G talk or what have you. First, what you want to do is chat with just one person. To do that, you're going to type in chat with and then whoever the name is. So I'll type in chat with Hack5 Darren. And it's going to tell me you can't open a group chat with Hack5 Darren, basically just because he's not online right now. But it'll open up a client or a separate, ch separate channel for Hack5 Darren. And then you can use the IRC command slash invite to invite all the other people that you want to into that chat room. So you have your own special chat room for all of your BFFs. Now if you get bored of your name, you can always change that with slash Nick, very similar to IRC. You also need to register or re-register your new nickname uh, with all your new information. Or I can also type in identify tack no load, which looks like that. And this is basically going to re-identify yourself under the new nickname, but tack no load tells the command to verify you but not load any kind of new settings. So while you're changing your nickname, you're still going to be logged in to all of your same command or all your different same chat clients, uh, MSN, Gtalk, whatever they might be. Now, last but not least is one of my favorite things. Back in like the early 2000s, I used to get on MSN and use all sorts of these cute little icons in parentheses and you would type them out and they'd be adorable to all your friends. Well, surprisingly, you can do this in Biddleby too. If you want to do all sorts of MSN smileys, such as like K for kiss or the little parentheses with the eight for music or the little carrot for a birthday cake. It's very easy. All you have to do is type in whatever you wanted to say in MSN and then type in whatever you had. Now in MSN, whenever your friends see it, it's going to turn into a little kissy face. Isn't that cute? Now, that's it for my advanced tutorial as far as Biddleby goes. It's pretty fun. I like this chat client. It's very easy to use. It's simple, although it does have a few broken bits and pieces here and there. But of course, I always do want to know what your alternatives are, or if you've found something really cool about Biddleby that I didn't necessarily mention, definitely let me know. Feedback at hack5.org, and I'll see you on the other side. Hey, guys. So I'm on a little layover here, Hack Across America. Very excited because I was uh, just up in, well gosh, I was up in Portland and Seattle. I went to Medford and Eugene. I've been down to San Diego and, uh, and Los Angeles now. And it's really cool to see, you know, just the weird, weird like awesome loops that I've made here. And it's really based on you guys. I keep getting this question like, oh, are you coming to XYZ? And it's not, it's not about, you know, uh, am I coming to your town and are you gonna be there? But it's about like who signs up. And uh, it's really cool because I am using Podio to manage all of this. It's so great. It's like having your own internal social network. 
Uh, I'm actually checking it out here on my phone. I love this. They've got an Android and iPhone app. And uh, I just, you know, got a new sign up here from Pyrodog in Minneapolis who wants to show me his uh, awesome hacker space. I can't wait to get out to the Twin Cities. So that's why, you know, I'll be going to Minneapolis because somebody signed up. And so a lot of people also, you know, they may not be, uh, you know, representative of a hacker space or something like that. And, you know, I, I'm not limiting myself in that way. So I set up a separate form over on hackacrossamerica.com where now if you just want to say, hey, I'm voting for my town, just enter in your postcode or your zip code and your email address. And then that way I can know where there's interest because basically what I'm doing with this whole map is I'm just playing a big game of connect the dots. It's so great. I love that Podio is allowing me to take all of this data in and actually make some sense of it because it's got such great, you know, filtering and sorting. It's so much better. Let me tell you, in 2010 when I did this was just a spreadsheet. That's not the way you want to do it. And so I love this. I've got, in fact, we started using it internally at Hack5. So we've got Santa, uh, Shannon and Sarah and Paul in it now so I can assign tasks, delegate stuff, manage projects. Uh, you know, stuff comes in on the Hack Shop. We're using it for yeah, quotes and for support and stuff like that. It's so great, it integrates. You don't even realize you're using it. You've been using Podio if you've signed up for Hack Across America or if you've used the Hack Shop, it's all in there. I love it. Uh, so I just thought I'd make mention that we do have that new one on there. If you go to hackacrossamerica.com, you'll see it right there at the top. You just give us your zip code and your email address and that way I can gauge where there's interest. So if there's like 50 people in Wichita, I'm going to Wichita. You know, how cool is that? So thanks Podio for hooking me up with the software to make this happen. Maybe it's of interest to you guys, especially in the corporate environments. I remember when I was a sysadmin being asked to develop some sort of similar thing. And at the point, at the, at that point we're using like SharePoint and it's, it's not the right thing. So anyway, I'm very stoked about this stuff because it's like having your own social network. So uh, yeah, check it out over at Podio.com and I will see you guys on Hack Across America. This week in the Hack Shop, we're having a special on antennas. You can get $5 off your antenna purchase for one week only. Head over to hackshop.com and use the coupon code antennagate, all lowercase, all one word. Now, once again, our deepest gratitude goes to you guys for your support of Hack 5. Thank you so much. We couldn't do it without you. Now, don't forget to go over to hackacrossamerica.com to get trip announcements, events, all the conference information that you could ever want, everything that's having to do with Darren's trip across America. It's super exciting and we want you to be a part of it. And also, thank you so much for your feedback. Seriously, email us all the time. We read every single one, even though we may not reply to each one. Feedback at hack5.org is the place to let us know what you think of the show and what you'd like to see us cover. And of course, don't forget Yet, you can always follow everything that we do over at hack5.org slash follow. That's where you'll get links to all the social networks and whatnot over there and see what even I'm doing. For example, DEF CON. Super excited about that one. And with that, I'm Shannon Morse. And for Darren Kitchen, who is currently on the West Coast, whichever way that is, we're reminding you to trust your technolust.